Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I don't know. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you. Nothing new. I don't mind. So I'm going through this process. I have two pretty good connections. So I asked you to come here to basically help me. Suss them out, yes. Walk into this date with my ex, Mark. I'm super nervous. Hey, how are you? Doing all right, how are you? I'm good. I have a strong connection with Blue and Tony. Tony, he's an alpha. And when it comes to Blue, he's awesome, he's great, he's laid back. But he's also mysterious. No one knows what he's thinking. I don't know if he voted for Obama. I don't know. So he has to kind of step it up. Yeah. Apply the pressure. What is it that captures your imagination and attention about Marcia? How smart and intelligent she is, you know, and obviously she's a stunning, beautiful woman, right? Our conversations are always good. I mean, most people don't want to check on you. They want you to consistently hit them up. She said, are you good? I'm like, yeah, sure. You don't know how to receive it, though. No, I don't. Hi, how are you? Good, to you fly, are you? What do you say hello? Mercedes asked me to meet her ex. And after that uncomfortable situation with Cynthia, I'm really not knowing what to expect. Hey, Sadie's. Hi, how are hey, you? I'm a little bit weary. How's this guy going to act? Hopefully he's not on some rah-rah where I have to check him. He's got to check me, and we go back and forth. So I kind of have my guard up just a little bit. So you're going through this whole process, and she just happens to be, you know, the most important part of it, I like to believe. I pretty much, I see, like, she always say we're like yin and yang. The opposites do attract, you know? I live my life a certain way, organization, prioritization, a lot of responsibility. I feel like I'm just at a place right now where I can be with someone, a partner, and actually invest in that person. I always make sure I was right for myself. Everything about me has to be on point first. I don't think I have to be good enough for anybody but myself first, and I see how I'm compatible with somebody else. Okay, seatbelt in, buckle in, we're ready to go. Coming into this date, I'm actually somewhat excited. Anthony was there as well, uh, not a problem. Through this entire process, Anthony has been there right along with me, so I felt like he could add a little comedic value to the conversations. One thing I said is we're always close to family. I think that's big. Family's my root. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the oldest out of 10 kids. Oh, wow, OK. So that's a huge responsibility, man, and mm -hmm. try to lead them in the right way. You know, I'm always available to them, so that's very important to me. OK. I need to evaluate the family just to see if the relationship is going to work. I don't believe in just trying to fit in for the sake of the person. If the family is that important to the person, I have to figure out and learn what that synergy is and see if it's a fit. How did your relationship end? So open to the question, what do you mean? Like peacefully, what was the situation? Give me a little bit more context. How do you handle conflict between you and your partner? Oh, I don't do conflict. I'm a verbal communicator. Okay. I communicate, probably over communicate. I like to make sure that we're not only solving the problem, but I also know where the problem is coming from. I feel like if you know that you have a lane where you can tell me anything and you lie to me, then we, there's nothing there. So let me ask you guys, where would you put Marcia just in the big picture? At this point, we are at the one and twos right now. That's a cop out. No, it's not. We're at one and two. Right I mean, now. top two, but is it yeah, number two? Why do you want gotta... me to know, though? We'll get there. Now we're at this point where we got to start going deeper in our process. No offense to you, Blue, but I just think we had plenty of time to decipher what is what. Yeah. I'm not going to sugarcoat something. I don't have a number one. I have two, and they're both number twos right now. That's why we're in the process. What unfavorable qualities do y'all have? For me, I know I could be very hard-headed and stubborn, especially when, when I've made the decision on something. So I understand that that's going to come with a whole host of conflicts that I'm, I'm not ready for. With me, I have to say um, the openness to take risk. It's better to take the risk and fail than not take it at all and wonder if you could have done things differently. Yeah, I can understand that. I'm sorry to cut this short, guys. I actually have to go do some daddy duties. Thank you, Thank you. Really Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. All right. Bye, I'll see you. So, All right. man, get home care. Safe. Yeah, no doubt. So, if you had to choose one of the two, who are you choosing? For me. Mark Anthony, I don't see that being husband. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get a very swift with my words kind of vibe. What do you think about this guy? Anthony, that man is ready for life. Yeah. With whoever that may be. Very in tune with exactly who he is. That real confidence, like, was coming out of that one. Gotcha. And he was forcing the confidence. Like, Ooh. 
I love Armand's opinion. I'm not going to take it lightly. It's definitely giving me something to think about. Interesting. I like both of them, but I, I think I'm leaning more towards Anthony. Hmm. Blake reminds me of me 20 <laughs> years ago. Smooth, clear, dressed well, very, very nice guy. Mm -hmm. But I'm not convinced that what he's looking for is what he's looking for. Paul thinks Blake might not be ready to settle down. And I'm getting worried because I take everything that Paul says to heart. So I definitely keep my eye out because I just want to make extra sure that me and Blake are on the same page. It's hard for me because I feel like there it's two sides of a similar coin. So it's like, right, right, so right. it's hard. With Blue, I think he kind of played coy a little bit. Yeah. Tony. I like the fact that he's direct. He speaks his mind, but at the same time, I don't think he will take feelings into consideration when he just speaks his mind. I'm not that sure where I stand today. Tony was super assertive and prideful. Blue was more chill and mysterious. This date heightened those thoughts. I wish I could just like... Just mash them together and make one. Unfortunately, you can't do that. There are more ways to watch OWN now than ever before. For more information, go to findown.tv.